How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mess Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of a new brewery time that's been around for a bit, but I just haven't picked anything up from them, and that is Collective Arts. This is their Hazy State IPA. I think it's more of a pale ale. I'm pretty sure it's sub 5%, pretty sure. Uh, growler. Um, I saw it at a local, um, like a, a bottle shop that does like growler fills. Figured I'd pick it up. Um, yeah, they're out of Canada, but they do a lot of distribution in the United States. I see a bunch of my Canadian uh, beer tubing friends do uh, beers from these guys. Um, but I also know they're opening up a place in Brooklyn, I believe. Uh, I know they announced it. It's not open yet, but I'm going to be doing um, more United States-based stuff. So, yeah. Low ABV. What I assume is a little bit of a hazy. Let's see what this sucker has to offer. Yeah. Doot, 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 doot. Horrible growler, Phil. I mean, there's like literally that much space in there but lucky enough i only purchased this maybe about like two hours ago but there's no hiss whatsoever Ooh, ooh, don't you hate it when they when they fuck shit up look at that not much of a head on it either kind of poopy it's been only been a couple hours so i think it might lean a little bit more in the beer than than the uh, growler fills from the place uh, more than anything else, but anyway, we'll see what's what. Uh, pinky finger, just under. Uh, decently white head, just barely off. Kind of has a nice lemon, kind of zesty kind of look to her. I mean, she's bright, she's vibrant. She looks the part of a lower ABV pale, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> just has that knocking shit over, like a bull in a china shop here. Has that nice kind of soft haze to her, but again, at the same time, she's really bright, really vibrant. She looks the part of a like a lower ABV beer, almost like a. Very similar to, like, um, I just did that um, River Trip from Allagash. Something like that. Like a Belgian yeast-based kind of uh, hazy more than anything else. So, yeah. Let's see if we can get a nose on her. I mean, just citrus. I mean, what you'd kind of expect from, like, a low EBV, sub-5% kind of hazy beer. Uh, big citrus notes. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too sweet. Nothing too bitter. There's a rindy portion on the show there, too. Smells nice, doesn't smell like overpowering, but vibrant enough to let those hops do their thing, kind of play their part. I kind of dig it. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, she's a summer crusher. Pretty much what I want. Today's July 3rd. Actually, scratch that. It's July 4th. Um, and, you know, I kind of wanted, you know, a, a bit of a summer crusher. And this is definitely footing that bill. All right, there's a nice richness to it. There's any softness to it. There has to be kind of like a hefty odor addition to this or something else to get that kind of mouthfeel of such a low EBV beer. And she's nice. It's giving me a nice bittering to bounce off. The little bit of sweetness it has is not overly sweet beer by any stretch of imagination. It is sweet. It does have sweetness to it, but it's not crazy sweet. But you have that nice kind of pithy kind of orange thing. Bouncing off those citrus notes, that really sultry kind of oated kind of mouthfeel to her, and that's it. Done and done. Uh, she's a tasty beer. I dig her. Um, she's nothing over the top, nothing crazy. You know, it's not like beating my face uh, with a two by four of hops or anything like that. But at the same time, she's definitely doing what, what I wanted her to do, which is be a really thirst quenching summer crusher. Listen, I usually do outdoor reviews. It is sunny. And it is 6 o'clock right now, prime outdoor beer reviewing weather, but it's like 90 degrees and 100% humidity. It's brutal hot in here, so this is just going down super awesome. So let's cut to the chase. This is one of the better lower ABV hazies that I've had as of late. Actually, it's worthy of being in a conversation, kind of eking up there, but there's ones that really have done it for me better, which is quite nice. Value availability, I think I paid 8 bucks for a 32-ounce crowler, so you're looking at 18 bucks a four-pack cost-wise. I think that's kind of where they lie with their kind of price point in general, but you're talking about a sub five percent beer you wish it was a little bit cheaper but it is what it is um it's coming down from canada so you kind of have to keep that in check and leave you with if you like what we like this beer if you like hazies if you like summer crushers and you want to marry both together that's essentially what you're going to get here is a big nice rich kind of hoppy experience but in a lower EV. so if that's your jam this probably foot the bill for you there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little bit of Canada on America Day. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.